Hey, I am Lina with Aptech Tutorials and today we're continuing with our Pac-Man game. Today I am going to teach you how to have Pac-Man eat a fruit and how to animate Pac-Man. So go ahead and stick around and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let me show you really quickly what we're doing. Let's go ahead and move our Pac-Man. So let's click the flag. Move our Pac-Man closer to the cherries. And uh, we're just moving it around. And right now I don't have any wall limits. So if it eats the cherries, it's going to grow. And that's it. Let's go ahead and build that. So for this video, it's going to basically teach you how to have your main sprite eat another sprite. And also we're going to animate your main sprite when it does eat that other sprite. And it's only gonna take you about five minutes. Here are the blocks you're gonna be using to give that animation to your sprite. So I've decided to color code them for you so it's easier for you to find them when you do go to scratch. So step number one, we're going to go ahead and get another sprite, which is gonna be our fruit or the other character that Pac-Man will be eating. And we're going to go ahead and add this code to it. All right, so let's go ahead and open what we had before uh, that we did in our last video. And let's go and add a sprite here. So I'm going to use the apple so I can make it look like a cherry or like two cherries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and edit that costume. And I'm going to click on this stem here. Hopefully I got that. And change it to green. And then I'm going to grab the whole thing and I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And put it right next to each other. Okay, now let me zoom in and let's center those two. So now it looks like two cherries. So let's go ahead and go back to our code for that cherry. So make sure you have the cherry selected and change that to cherry. I'm going to call it cherry instead of apple. Uh, make sure you have the cherry selected and in here we're going to go ahead and add our code where uh, when the flag is clicked we're going to go ahead and show our our cherry because Pac-Man's going to eat it so it's going to hide it when it eats it and then forever where's the forever? forever we're going to go ahead and check if we're sensing that is touching the ball which is Pac-Man here if the cherry senses that it's touching the ball then we're going to go ahead and hide it now another thing I would like to do is go ahead and set that size of that cherry because those cherries are huge so let's go ahead and uh, set size uh, yeah, we're going to have to show it and then we'll just try to set it to 50. And I'm going to add them to this position here. So I'm going to leave them there. Okay. Okay. So let's click this flag. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's take Pac-Man over there to eat that those cherries. And voila, they're gone. So now when you click the flag again, so click the stop and then click the flag again, they should reappear. Step number two, we're going to go ahead and add animation to our main character. So once Pac-Man does eat that specific fruit or that specific character, we're going to animate it. All right, for step number two, make sure you have selected your Pac-Man or the ball or whatever character is your main character in this maze. And let's go ahead and add the... Uh, animation for it when it it's that cherry so we're gonna go into get an if so i'm gonna do it as on, on the side because i'm going to need these for all of this here so i'm just gonna do it aside so i can duplicate it easier and then we're going to go ahead and do a repeat loop inside of that if so for the if we're going to check if we're touching a cherry 
if our ball is touching a cherry or the cherry then we're gonna go ahead and do a repeat loop where we're gonna change the color so we're gonna look to here we're gonna change color by 25 so the color that's gonna be changed is gonna be your actual pac-man color not your cherry so then we're gonna change the size change size change size there it is, change size, and we're going to change it by the default. You can play around with these numbers here. I'm going to leave them as default. And then we're going to switch our back, not a backdrop, sorry. We're going to switch our custom back to its original. And then we're going to set color back to zero once we exit the... So this is how we normalize the Pac-Man back to its original original state so once it stops getting all hype up about eating the cherry and we're gonna set back the size to 50 so we have our normal character back so again we're gonna check if pac-man touches the cherry we want the color of pac-man to change by 25 and we want our size to change by 10 the ones we exit this loop and this if check, we want Pac-Man to come back to its original state, which is this uh, costume here. Then set the color back to zero so it comes to its original color. And then set the size back to 50 so it shrinks back to its original size. And we're going to be adding this to all of our arrows, our control arrows here. So let me go ahead and move my stuff around so I have enough room to put that there. Okay, so this, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to put one here, start on this side so it's easier. Duplicate here, and duplicate here. Let's move this down, and now make sure you go to your left one, because that one's a special one. That one has to be that other sprite that we talked about in video one, I mean that other custom, and um... That's it. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if it works. Let's see what it does. Now, the reason I added to every single one of the keys is because every single one of the keys should give you the effect in case it eats the strawberries from the left or the right or the top or the bottom. So let's try the bottom going up. So you saw that it went really fast. Hopefully you guys saw that. Now let's try it eating the, uh, the cherries from the uh, and right now I can go through the middle because I haven't added the boundaries but let's try to eat them using the left key there you go alright guys that was it it was a really quick one just to show you how to actually animate your your main character when it eats the fruit and also to show you how to make a fruit disappear so like always don't forget to follow us, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for joining us.